Hello everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. We're going live. Okay, it's not live, but it's live for me. My name is Bobby. I am the emperor of my universe. The universe, a universe, whatever. Today, I want to talk about two things. First, protection. Um, I'm very blessed because I have been, I'm not going to call it chosen, hired. God digs me. And he sent some protection. I have bodyguards. They're badass bodyguards. And they are archangels. So they're, they're ascended masters. They're, these are badasses. Okay? I'm very blessed. And I thank them every day. And I tell them I love them for that protection. And I appreciate that. I didn't go to school for any of this. I didn't go to, what do you call that? What would you call that? Um, theology. I didn't take any theology in college. I'm not a Bible thumper. Thank you. I've never actually read the Bible and in, whoo, and no, I just don't have no desire to do it. Thank you. I think it's for every, it's for, it's different for everybody, I think. But for me, my purpose, my job is very simple, is to love. To love everybody as much as I can and as deeply as I can. And that's it. How easy of a job is that? Just to love everybody. I mean, everybody, even the butthead. So that's a, it's a tough gig, but I'm up to it, right? I also want to talk about signs. And I, God and the universe have been beating me upside the head with signs for years, and I didn't understand it. I mean, like I said, we're talking about things I did not even, were not even in my line of perception five, ten years ago. Like numerology. Yeah, I've heard about it, but yeah, okay, whatever. <clears throat> I didn't understand about the significance of 1111, angel numbers. And the interesting thing about that was when I was in my apartment by myself just for years, just total isolation pretty much, and I was painting. And the whole time I kept seeing, re repeating on my, my digital, I had like digital clocks and stuff everywhere. The, the kitchen had a microwave, I had one in my room. And for some reason, just whenever I would look at it, I'd always see 111, 1110, so basically, you know, 1110, 11, 11, that kind of thing. And it got to, and this is over years, and it got to the point where I was like, this is weird. I kept saying, it's like, I'm not seeing any other, like, chain of numbers when it's just, and it's one of those things where it got to the point where I actually, like I said, we're talking about years of isolation. So I actually got down to the point where I would, whenever I would see... Any, and I thought it was just binary code. I was thinking like science. I was thinking this is weird. So it's like binary. So maybe somebody's sending me code, like spiritually or something. So that's kind of like cool. So I started writing down every time I would see it, either 11, 10, 10, 10, 10, that kind of thing. Whatever, as long as it was ones and zeros, I would write it down. And I literally filled up about six pages from back. You think about it. One, one, eleven, just with numbers. I mean, line after line after line, just four at a time. And I literally did this. And I lost it in my storage with all my other stuff, but but that's irrelevant. The point was, is I was being signaled like years ago. I mean, I was getting hit on the head all the time by it, and I didn't understand what signs were. I didn't understand it. I just did not understand it. So my in my ignorance, I was writing down somebody's telling me this is your job this is who you are this is where you're going this is you're a divine you know entity you need to do you have a job here you know and it's and it's it was basically encouraging me and I didn't understand it I didn't understand the language it's kind of like when you hear that high pitch ringing in your ear but it's not um tinnitus or whatever they call that it's actually angels talking to you they're they're communicating in there you know I can imagine an angel's voice has got to be something a little you know mysterious and otherworldly so and when you hear it it's in the form of high-pitched that's all I know about that and I didn't understand it but then I and how, here's how you really know whether it's tinnitus or not you start hearing that high pitch right you say thank you I love you and I hear you and you could all say it hurts a little you're screaming, you're a little loud, and if it, 
automatically stops. You know exactly what that was. And that's what I was thinking. I was like, is this tinnitus or what? And then I would say, thank you. Uh, you're, you're, you're hurting my ear because you're a little loud. And then it would just go like that. It would just disappear. Like I said, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm spiritual, but I've never really been in any, I was baptized Mormon, and that was in the phase of my life when I was hanging out with my brother and my mom, and that was not a problem. Mormons are very, it's very Christian, and there's a different, you know, different branch, and they have, I didn't read the whole Mormon Bible either. I just, I was into it, I thought it was cool, and I was, it was a phase, but you know, like I said, you can enjoy spirituality, you can take what you can from it. I enjoy Buddhism a lot. I've learned a lot from Buddhism, but I wouldn't consider myself a Buddhist, exactly. So I, be, and plus my job is to convey love to every human being on the planet. Like I said, whether you're a pygmy in, you know, New Guinea or wherever they hang out, you know, if you're in the middle of the jungle and you have no clue about anything or anybody as far as religions or deities, you still understand love, compassion, the simple things. And that's who my job is to connect with everybody on every level. And without anybody thinking I'm certain, I'm pushing an agenda of a particular major religion, which is they all have their agendas, please. So let's just focus on the love. That's my agenda. And that's all it's ever gonna be. I'm not sure what this video is gonna be about. I just thought it was important uh, to recognize signs when you're getting hit upside the head by something, right? And, you know, know your divinity, know your power, know your abilities, know your worth, because God does. And I can't imagine every time he hires somebody and they, they fail or they quit. I'm not quitting, so we'll see. We'll see what my job is. I'm, it's still a mystery. It's exciting, but it's kind of, you know you're going to do right. You know you're supposed to be doing good, and you do it. You, you, I was told to live in love, to heal myself, and that's it. And to be positive as I can, generate positivity, protect my energy. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm being set up for something. It's going to be amazing. I don't know what it is. I'm excited. Hopefully it's to rid the world of the assholes. I'm down with that. But anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is crazy about you. So I want you to have a wonderful day. Remember to watch the signs and protect yourself. Protect your energy and know your divinity. Okay? I love you.